one day, this big kind of burly looking guy, a veteran on a motorcycle, comes across the lake. He'd had enough. He was going out to kill himself. And he thought if he ran his motorcycle into something, his family would still get the benefits, you know, and it wouldn't look like he took the gun to end the pain. He sees a vehicle with a picture of a puppy and the Patriot Paul's logo and follows it to our building. Once inside, we tell him our mission here is to train and provide service dogs of the highest quality to disabled veterans in need. Yes. Just because you don't see a physical disability doesn't mean that they haven't been through stories that you and I can never imagine. He kept hanging around and he says, what can I do to help? And we had bought some kennels, so he sat in the room with the dogs and put kennels together. After he had left that day, there was a little note and it said, thank you for saving my life today. So he met us and got some puppy kisses and some puppy love. He became a regular volunteer. He didn't apply for a service dog because he was able to get up, put his clothes on and do his chores. But we surprised him with the big black lab that he had bonded with as his service dog. And he says to this day that Patrick Paul's is the only reason he's alive today. I can make a difference Restoring independence To the veteran Who helped make freedom ring I'll be your friend for life Forever by your side I'm your Patriot Paws Service dog the mission of Patriot Paws officially is to train the best quality service dogs available to give them to the veterans. To have someone with the passion to be there and be for that person when nobody else is. To give them the unconditional love. The old saying is freedom's not free. They chose to give away part of their lives to protect you so that you can have your life. It's our time to give back to them. We do not charge the veterans a dime for these dogs. Going to war is a life-changing event, and it's it's not for the good, especially if you come back hurt and wounded or just seeing what you've seen over there. You feel lost and you feel hopeless, but having a dog and emotional support to make your life better, especially with PTSD and mobility, it got me out of my shell after being hurt. I was able to do more, go more places just because I had that comfort, and it saves lives, it does. I sleep so much better than I did before I had Allie. And I used to have dreams that would wake me up and I felt like I needed to clear my house and arm myself for protection against these dreams. That hasn't happened since I've had Allie. She's actually gotten up and just licked my neck when I'm having a bad dream. And it just makes me feel so much better. I don't have the nightmares like I did before. She watches out for me. She's my little bodyguard. I had lots of anxiety around other people. But once I got glory, my whole life changed. I don't take as many anxiety medicines, for one. I get out and I meet people. I've actually flown on airplanes with her. I've gone to visit other family members. The walks are just incredible. You know, the fresh air, the sunsets. It's like she brings sunshine everywhere she goes. One of the things that makes Patriot Paws different is we take the time to let the dog pick the person. And now I'm gonna get a hug because he knows I'm stressing in front of cameras. If you let the dog pick the person, then he's more likely to pick up on your anxiety and tell you about it. We need to get out of this environment or wake you up from your night tears and to pick up on those post-traumatic stress and the tears. You wanna get back off on, the, on your seat? Thank you. Lay down. I'm okay. He knows when I start talking from my heart or I get nervous, he's offering me free comfort. Calm down, I'm here, I'm for you. And that's just a perfect example of what they can do for you. It takes about two to two and a half years to train a dog. And to meet that goal takes a village. People who have a passion for animals and veterans to help them be the highest quality of dog possible. Our wait list right now to receive a dog is roughly around two years. As much as I would like to shorten that demand, quality over quantity will always be our focus. We have trainers, kennel staff, administrative staff, ambassadors, veterans. Good morning. 
morning. Thank you for calling Patriot Cause. And we have a partnership with Texas Department of Criminal Justice, inmates who volunteer to work in our program. This program is absolutely amazing. It's a win-win situation. It was my aha moment in the agency to say that this is what I want to do. This is what I want to be a part of in changing the inmates' lives and changing the veterans' lives and changing the animals' lives. The inmates, they're able to give back to society instead of just take from society as they had been doing in the past. We have puppy raisers at Texas A&M, college students that donate their time to us in order to help us train these dogs. I'm a senior puppy raiser, six consecutive semesters, and it's allowed me to be so grateful for what I have and just give back. Seeing the impact that these dogs have on the veterans just brought me to tears. Lives were changed, and I got to be even a small part of that. It was more than I could ask for. We also have local puppy raisers in the Dallas-Fort Worth area who volunteer to bring the dogs in their homes. It's so rewarding just to see like all this work that you put in small things like just touching your foot or touching your hand, but it turns into such a big thing like bringing a cane or closing a door. It changes these veterans' lives. We can comfortably train roughly around 80 to 90 dogs at one time and about 60% of those dogs will be placed in some form or fashion. I'm basically paralyzed from the waist down. I drop things all the time, but the dog would automatically pick it up and hand it to me. It just made a big difference. It was great. Yes! The first dog that I got from Patriot Paws probably kept me from doing stupid things, like uh, just stupid things. So he saved my life is what I'm gonna say to you. When a puppy first gets the Patriot Paws, they're there for a few weeks until they can get their first round of vaccinations and then they can start the training process. And we have a full functioning vet clinic on site and a state-of-the-art kennel system. Our kennels are the foundation for the health of these animals. We have people here engaging these dogs in play, giving them baths, brushing their teeth, trimming their nails. They're being well taken care of in a very controlled environment by people that just absolutely love them. We have 4,800 square feet of pure training space. There's all these different things that we can expose these dogs to that will help prepare them for a life with a veteran. Most puppies are charging ahead and they want to go explore the world and to teach them that impulse control, that stimulus control to get them to walk right next to you and give you eye contact is one of our key foundations that we work on as soon as they get here to Patriot Paws. Yeah. We start our dogs at six to eight weeks old when we get them. We try to lay a foundation of 65 cues. They should never know they're working. They should think instead of going to get a ball, they're gonna go get a phone. Instead of playing tug of war with you, they're tugging open doors, pushing things with their nose, touching things with their paws. So we use positive reinforcement training. It tells the dog, hey, you didn't get it right. You didn't get your cookie is what we call it, even though it's just their daily allotment of kibble. You need to keep trying until you hear that click or that marker word that lets them figure out and problem solve at a much faster rate. We lay the foundation and then it's up to the veteran to take it to the next level. Uh-oh. Yes, good job. We move our dogs from one location to the other every three to four months. If they're rambunctious, hyper puppy, they'll go to our prison program, which is what we call boot camp. We have three prison programs, the men's unit and two female units. It's called a boot camp because they really, really work on their cues, and that's all those offenders do. They train dogs from daylight to dark every day, and so it's good for our dogs to get that sometimes. If you have a calmer, more timid puppy, we'll put them in a puppy raiser home. So they're either going to prison or to college or to Rockwall. Basically, the dogs tell us when they're ready to graduate. When they're doing all the cues, they've completed all seven levels. We look at our veteran pool and we see who we have coming up and what their needs are. Are they in a wheelchair? Do they have prosthetics? Is it post-traumatic stress? And then we look at the dogs that we have ready for graduation. What are their strengths to benefit that veteran and help make their lives whole again? First thing I do is I go out into their houses, into their homes, and I meet the family and the veteran. And I get a sense for what their life is like. Then I come back and report so that we know which ones have small children, which ones might have a cat at home, have acreage, you know, that the dog may roam on. So we play all that into which dog will do best for them. 
We place dogs all over the country. So we invite them to graduation. They come in here and we bring the dogs in one at a time on leash. The veterans work with every dog and we rotate the dogs because we're watching which dog works best for that veteran. They do that for the first four days and on the fifth day, it's what we call matching. We have a big ceremony. We tell the veterans which dog chose them. I am now living alone and need the help with mobility. Her name is Flannel. People can sponsor a dog, and for a certain amount of money, then they can name a dog. So I've got three dogs in the program right now. My first dog, Flannel, today actually was matched and will graduate next week and go home with a United States Air Force veteran. I have a nephew who passed away. He died by suicide. He was a United States Marine. We decided to name the dog Flannel. It's Patrick's favorite clothing. He was a great kid. I mean, everybody says, why didn't we know? What could we have done? Why didn't he call? It's a mystery we'll never know. 22 veterans a day take their lives. I want the family to know how much I appreciate it and the fact that I also have lost a son, and so this is really special. It's like it's meant to be. This dog and I are supposed to be together. We do pictures, and for the next week, they work exclusively with that dog, really developing that very strong bond, because that's huge. After they go home with the dog, we travel to their homes, customize training on their dog. We just go places that they typically frequent, and then we certify them. They have to actually pass a test through our Assistant Dogs International organization we belong to. It's basically good doggy manners in public. My goal is to give you something that's truly helping, not something that's adding additional stress to your life. We basically tell them, if you don't want a family, Patriot Paws is not the one to come to. Because we talk, we communicate, we follow up, we check up on them. We adopt each and every one of them. I had somebody in my unit end his life, and <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I came home and I want to live in our country that these people have served. I don't ever want to forget their sacrifice. It's easy to feel like you're overwhelmed trying to breathe, but you're still underwater. The support system that we get with our dog in that moment and being a part of that Patriot Paws family is something I can never thank them enough for. If you are thinking about having a service dog, come and talk to Lori and put in your application because it will change your life forever, I promise you. The people in Patriot Paws, they're a family. They don't treat us less than. And sometimes when you're in here, you don't feel that. But focusing on something like this, you're able to keep a part of you that you came in here with. The most amazing thing is being taught something to give someone else their independence. And I actually meet these veterans. I can walk out of here when I make parole and I'm able to get a job. But what I can give back changes their lives. This dog can help you walk, be there for your emotional support, help you with the laundry to make your bed. Whatever you need, for the most part, this animal can do. Uh -oh. It's a life-changing experience. And that brings back the faith and spirit and hope in mankind to me. I wish that we could give every veteran the care and the attention that they deserve. And I think that Lori and Patriot Paws are doing their damnedest to do that. I love training dogs. I like people. When I see the changes in the veterans' life, the changes in their family's life, I guess it's kind of like we did it. It makes you feel good inside, but it's the village that made the difference. It's the family that makes the difference. I hope all of y'all, when you leave here, you think you've made a difference, because you have. I can make a difference. I can make a difference. I'll be your friend for life, forever by your side, I'm your Patriot Paws, service dog. It's unconditional love, no matter what you need, I'm here. 
I can make a difference.